It was a case of bad behavior that came to symbolize the power of South Korea's most important people. In December 2014, this Korean Air flight was leaving New York with then vice president and daughter of the company's chairman Cho hyun on board. In the first class cabin, Cho, enraged over being served macadamia nuts in a bag instead of on a plate, was hurling abuse at the cabin crew. She demanded the pilot return to the gate so this man, the head flight attendant, could be thrown off. In February 2015, a district court ruled that in doing so, Cho changed the planned flight route, breaking aviation security law. She was sentenced to a year in prison. But three months later, the high court overturned that verdict, instead ordering a 10-month suspended sentence on lesser charges. On Thursday, the Supreme Court upheld that ruling. It is the majority opinion that it is difficult to interpret that the plane's movements on the ground are part of the flight path when we review the aviation security laws. To South Koreans, this case is about much more than an incident of air rage. It has highlighted what many here view as unjust levels of power wielded by those at the top of the nation's biggest companies. Democracy activist An Jin Gul says the public is angry because it feels powerful people are receiving special treatment. If there were a justice culture of setting an example by giving punishment as a warning to others, or if major conglomerates were punished to a similar extent that ordinary people would be punished, then such illegal activities would not persist. Aviation law was beefed up in the wake of the Cho incident to punish cases of air rage more severely. And in another recent high-profile case, the vice chairman of Samsung, J.Y. Lee, was imprisoned for five years on bribery charges. He is also appealing that ruling. Kathy Novak, Al Jazeera, Seoul.